Hey guys, it's time for another update on the Vindict fursuit. Um, I'll be back in one second. I have to grab something for my dresser. Oh. There it is. I hope you guys can see my butt on the way out. Okay. So, the head has been completely padded out. I finished the tail, the paws. Oh, no, I haven't finished the paws. And I've attached the eyes, only I had to reattach one because it wasn't located correctly. The vision was blurred. But, um, here's the head so far. I have an issue with making all of my heads look like dogs rather than cats. I, I know cat anatomy, like I said before, but this is just a mistake in my own design. I think it'll even out some once it's completely furred, but right now, no. Um, as you can see, I made the muzzle a little too broad to be a feline. It should be more narrow, but I think it still looks kind of like a cat. The ears have been shaped and padded more. Uh, jaw still works just fine. One sec. Glasses off. <sighs> See? Works just fine. You know, I think the thing I like about this uh, suit the best so far is because it's a feline muzzle, the jaw is really easy to access by mouth. So if I wanted to eat in this suit, I could. And I mean, like, actually eat. Like, last time I could still drink, but. <sighs> Works just fine. <sighs> Oof. Um, the other eye's right here. I need to reattach it. Yeah. And then, um, add the whiskers after it's all furred. Uh, the nose. Uh, something really simple I did, I've actually tried doing this before, but it didn't look right on my last suit, was, uh, I, t I just took the foam, the same kind of foam I used for the um, padding, and I drenched it in black acrylic paint, let that dry, um, carved out the nose shape, and then I painted over it again to make sure it was all stiff, and it has a nice texture. It looks realistic from afar. Um, the only issue is when you're shaping it, you need to make sure it's, you know, evened out. I still need a little bit of shaping there. But the suit's coming along. Right, I'll show you guys the tail. It's all padded and stuff now. It's a huge tail, as you saw in the last video. Um, but it wags really well. See, this is all stuffed. It has this little awkward curve in here where it comes... You see that? How it kind of comes back out more? I don't know. I put it on, but I don't have a lot of space in my room, and it's kind of messy. And then the gloves, I'm going to make, um, depending on how much fur I have left, I'm going to make a pair of sleeves for them, too. But these are my favorite pair of gloves so far, even though they're not finished. I'm going to be adding a pair of silicone paw pads to these, which I'm also making myself. Oh, did I put that? A sec. Put that on backwards. So the gloves aren't completely done, but... Oh, the sewing is. Ugh. Probably would have updated this a little bit sooner, but one of my friends who graduated, or is graduating on Friday, came over and spent the night last night. See? I like really like the paws. They're very, very soft. And poofy. Um... I may or may not make a pair of feet for this suit, and I'm going to be having a poll on my DeviantArt account, um, because I might be able to get this suit done in about a week's time, and then I'm going to Mackinac Island, um, next weekend. So I kind of want to know from you guys, you've seen my last suit, the husky one, and then you see how this one's coming along. Uh, you can take a look at my DeviantArt profile, that is AddictiveMind at DeviantArt.com. Same as spelling as my old channel, if you know me from back then. Uh, I'll also probably post a link below. Post a link below, and it should be somewhere down in the middle of my page, right-hand side. You'll find a poll saying which suit should I wear. 
just tell me what you think, and I'll end up posting a bunch of pictures on how my first shooting went. Also, I met a person, well, I haven't met her yet, but I've talked to her, a person from my local area who was a suitor too, so I'm gonna, you can see my cleavage, sorry. I'm gonna try and do a meet and greet with her this summer, and I'm just gonna put this out here, I'm not giving my exact location because you guys are pedophiles, but um... If there's anybody in the Michigan, um, Hancock, and Houghton area who's, you know, a good furry, if you know what I mean, not yiffing, uh, drop me a line uh, via DeviantArt or YouTube, see if we can plan out some kind of meet and greet this summer, get a little bit bigger, because I know there was a, one at Michigan Tech recently, um, this winter, and I missed that one, of course, back then I only had cello. And you guys have seen how bad she looks. So, let's see if we can plan something out. Okay, see you guys. Uh, oh, I'll update more after it's actually furred. See ya.